In 2019, there's a lot of competition out there when it comes to budget devices. The Stylo 4 and the Coolpad Legacy are two budget devices which actually give you a run for your money. You can get these two devices at Metro by T-Mobile. Both these devices are budget beasts and do pack really huge displays. Now the Coolpad is a little bit taller. It also is made of a better material on the back. As you see, I do have a skin on my LG Stylo 4. Now, I do like you get that touch to wake on the LG Stylo 4, which is definitely pretty cool. Now, when you compare these both devices side by side, the screens are almost um, look, look like they're identical size, with the exception of the Coolpad Legacy having one tenth or so of an extra um, inch of display. But when you get those little touch buttons at the bottom, which you can remove on the LG Stylo 4 in apps, it actually compensates on the LG Stylo 4 because you're getting a really good screen to body ratio. When you're using any type of application, you can hide those home buttons. Whereas on the Coolpad Legacy, you're not able to hide those buttons. Now let's take a look at the sound quality on the LG Style 4. Not too bad. Not the best in the world ever. But here's the Legacy. The Legacy actually sounds a bit better. Let me shut up. Okay, so you can see the sound test, you actually have to give it to the Legacy. But let's go ahead and clear all the applications and let's just see the Chrome app real quick. Okay, that, that seemed like it was a little bit quicker on the LG Stylo 4. Let's open up the uh, Play Store. Just a tad bit quicker on the LG Stylo 4. But honestly, both of these devices have identical specs, um, except with the exception of an extra gigabyte of RAM on the LG Stylo 4. Now they don't have identical like chip like inside of them, but they do have the same identical clock speed with the same Snapdragon 450 clocked at 1.8 gigahertz. Now they both have 32 gigabytes of internal storage with expandable storage up to 256 gigabytes, which is definitely pretty cool. Now, pardon the thottery right here on the screen. I didn't expect that to actually pop up. Now let's put both devices at full brightness and I actually forgot to turn off comfort view, but I will. So make sure you guys stay locked in. Now you can see it's a little bit wider that, oh shoot. Um, it's a little bit wider on the left on the LG Stylo 4 and the colors seem pretty similar. Now I do have comfort view on, so it's a bit yellow. Wait, did I turn it off yet? Let me just see. Well, they, they both look really good. And I do believe both displays are um, basically, um, you know, at full brightness with, without the yellowing effect. So you can see that the Coolpad Legacy does seem to be a tad bit whiter when it comes to like white, like pure whites. The Stylo 4 has somewhat of a pinkish tint to it on, on, the, um, on the whites when it comes to that type of, um, you know, when you're showing off the colors. So you can see right here, both devices flow pretty well. Um, I did notice um, with the Coolpad Legacy, Pi was actually smooth as water. Uh, when I was swiping on the LG Stylo 4, I didn't have any complaints whatsoever. But honestly, you can see both of these devices are actually smooth as water. So I didn't have any complaints whatsoever. They were just going back and forth in this battle. So um, tell me what you guys think so far. Which one of these devices do you actually own? Now I do have the LG Stylo 4 for quite some time and I definitely think it's a sick device especially because I'm a graphic artist and I definitely like to do drawing with the pen feature. 
Now that stylus does come in handy for the LG Stylo 4 and is actually making this device stand out from other devices. You don't get that pen feature except for the Note series on the Samsung Galaxy devices. So honestly, when it comes to the LG Stylo 4, I could definitely say that that thing stands out in its department. Now they did release the LG Stylo 5, which a lot of people I've been chatting with on a couple close friends and some of my friends who actually purchased the LG Stylo 5 did tell me that it did run a little bit smoother with that one gigabyte of extra RAM. So you can see right here, um, you know, both devices are going toe to toe. So I can honestly say that it was pretty close when comparing the speeds of opening apps. However, this isn't going to determine which device is actually faster. But if I had to give one device the advantage when it came to speed, I could definitely say that the operating system of 9.0 Pi is a little bit smoother. But you can see right here when it came to opening up apps in the memory department, the LG Stylo 4 wasn't a slouch either with the two gigabytes of internal memory. So honestly, I was quite surprised because I didn't think that the LG Stylo 4 could compete with the CoolPad Legacy when it came to the memory department. But I was actually surprised during this test and, um, you know, overall when I've been using the LG Stylo 4, I haven't really gotten the lag that other people's units have actually gotten. Now this device does take one or two extra seconds of loading time if you compare it to mid-rangers or other flagships in a higher bracket. But if you're comparing it to another device in the same category with a little bit better specs with an extra gigabyte of RAM, such as the CoolPad Legacy or even the Stylo 5, you're not going to really notice much of a difference. So it didn't really make sense for me to actually go ahead and get the Stylo 5 right away because I was actually thinking that it was going to be the exact same performance of the Stylo 4. But you can see right here, the CoolPad Legacy does have an extra gigabyte of RAM and uh, it wasn't doing any much better than the LG Stylo 4. Um, some apps did open a little bit quicker and I did notice the speed was a little bit better, especially with the Pi and um, you know the overall performance. Now, when it came to the screen quality, I did like that the CoolPad Legacy did have that pure white uh, background compared to the pink hue or um, the pink tint in the back of the LG Stylo 4. Now I'm not sure if that's with the display just maybe it tints over time or something like that. I've had this device for a little bit longer but honestly both devices did look really cool and both displays looked really rich in colors, saturation and overall brightness. So I wasn't going to bellyache or complain or hiccup when it came to either one of these things because the money that you were spending was under $200 or even in some cases under $100 depending on what offer you did um, participate in. But you can see right here, um, the memory department, even the CoolPad Legacy did open some apps quicker. You can see some reloads happening on the Audrey Seller 4. So I guess that's where some of the extra RAM did kick in and, you know, appear to be better for the CoolPad Legacy. But honestly, overall, both devices did match up quite well. And I was quite surprised how the LG Stylo 4 was handling itself. But, um, you know, right here, we're going to just take a look at the UI and you can see that there's a LG skin which is actually a little bit heavier than the cool UI 9.0 but um, you can see that the reds they did look a little bit deeper on the cool pad legacy on the right and um, you know honestly both phones did look really nice and all the colors were really popping and uh, you know it, I didn't have any complaints whatsoever when it came to either unit but, um, you know, if you guys are looking to get 
one of these devices i can honestly say that you won't be you know wasting your money or anything like that uh, you don't have to be a kid to get a budget device you could be a grown adult and still use one of these things so don't let like other reviewers think that you need to get a flagship and if you do want to walk down that department there's actually other flagships in the um department of the flagship arena where you can get uh, flagships for actually under two hundred dollars so make sure you guys check out the full catalog of videos that i made just for you because i definitely appreciate and cherish every last one of you but um make sure you guys stay locked in and if you found this video helpful in any way possible definitely leave a comment down below make sure you guys stay locked in and uh, appreciate every one of you have a great morning afternoon evening good night and later crew peace but i'll check you guys later stay locked in later crew peace